Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. I'm so nervous. I'm always so nervous whenever I do these videos because you only really get one chance and I, I don't know why I'm so nervous aside from the one chance thing. Like, okay, maybe I won't get it perfect on camera, but that's fine. I can still enjoy the item, but I still get really, really nervous. And I think part of that is like the buildup and the anticipation, but I just needed to say that. I just needed to get that out there that I am <laughs> very nervous and I've been ever since I brought this home. I had to wait a little bit before I could actually do the unboxing because I did want to do it on camera and share it with all of you. And I'm getting ahead of myself. What is this? It is an unboxing. I just said so. And you've seen the title and thumbnail, so you know that it is a Chanel unboxing. <laughs> okay, well, I... <laughs> I was not expecting to be able to do this unboxing. I was not expecting to have this item. I was not expecting to do an unboxing. I was certainly not expecting to do a brand new boutique Chanel unboxing anytime soon. This is a surprise. It's a surprise to me. It was a surprise to me when I saw it in the boutique. It's a surprise that I bought it, honestly, a little bit. It's a surprise that it was in the boutique in the first place, both to me and my SA. And I'm going to give you a story time. Uh, timestamps will be down below. I'm going to give you a story time, of course, but I'm actually going to unbox it first because it's been a lot of the box sitting in the bag, sitting in my closet, and me looking at it every time I open the closet doors going, I want to, I want to unbox you, and I can't yet, and eh, eh, eh. But now it is time, so I'm going to do that, and then babble a little bit more about what this item is, but if you follow me on Instagram, you might have a clue as to what is inside this box. In fact, if you do follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, maybe you should, or maybe you might want to, uh, go ahead and do that, or subscribe for more content, by the way, hit the notification bell so you find out when I upload new videos. But if you follow me on Instagram, you have an idea of what this is, perhaps, and I'd love to hear your guesses down below before uh, you actually see the unboxing. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, but you've maybe just followed my YouTube channel for a bit and kind of know what I like and possibly know my wish list, I'd love to see what you think that I got. Please feel free to leave a guess down below. All right, enough procrastinating. Let's go. I'm going to just try to do this in one take. And if I mess up, I mess up. That's life. All right. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Let's just, let's just do this. All right. Let, let, let begin. Camellia off. All right. Notice that I'm untying the bow this time. I, I do that now. I untie the bows. So the flat box, little Chanel sticker with the Chanel tissue paper. I'm going to just do this in my lap because I'm not coordinated enough to do that with it up top. That took too long. Okay, we're back. So, I love the packaging. It's so beautiful, very nice touches. And all the tissue paper is embossed with Chanel, by the way, like if you didn't know that, just so you know, it's very nice. Okay, let's not continue going back and forth. All right, so I can see it. It's not in the dust bag, the dust bag's on top. You kind of have a little color hint there. black dust bag because it is a seasonal item. Okay, I'm going to just put this down. Take it out of the little beautiful tissue paper bed with the fan tissue paper and it's very nice, very cradled, very uh, cradled very nicely, nestled there. Here it is. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, all right, wow, okay. Um, I always say that, I always say wow, okay, um, like that's my pattern. I need to really get some new material, but this is the mini reissue in this 22P pink color. And I just wanna point out really quick, like look at the, so this is the pink color here. And if you'll just notice in the different light, like the way that it shifts, the way that the color shifts in different lighting, like here it's a pretty, pink pink and then here it's almost like a corally and then it looks kind of orange corally and 
it's that's something that I noticed in the oh, I'm getting ahead of myself okay so just color so this is the color and it's not coming across the best on camera it looks a lot darker on camera than it does in real life but also that depends on the way that the light hits it so you'll notice that the light kind of hits it here like that's kind of more how it looks in person depending on a couple of different factors I suppose it it looked more orangey in pictures and that's I'm getting it okay all right let's focus 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 self focus I saw pictures of this reissue coming out in the 22P collection back in, oh gosh, October of 2021, months before it was supposed to be released. And that's kind of how it goes now. You sort of, you watch the fashion show, you see what people are posting pictures of throughout the world, and you kind of settle on the things that you are interested in, what you like, and then you kind of contact your essay at that point. So when 22P was coming out, I had okay so you know that i've been wanting a pink bag and i've been wanting a mini reissue for a really long time i just haven't been able to find one in a color that really spoke to me i like the black with gold hardware but i have my reissue 225 in the black with gold hardware so i didn't feel like i needed a mini reissue with the same coloring but i've been wanting a mini reissue and i've also been wanting a pink bag so set those two facts to the side wanted mini reissue one pink bag okay so the 22p collection pictures release and i saw this picture come out and I thought it looked beautiful from the, the pictures that were released from Chanel and were released from like the leaked accounts. Like I thought it was a beautiful pink. And so I contacted my essay. I reached out to her and I said, hi, I'm really interested in this colorway in the mini reissue. Are you getting it in? And she said that no, she wasn't. The boutique, the mini reissue came out in a light baby blue, a beautiful baby blue, a white, the black, and this color, this pink. And she said that her boutique had only ordered the blue, the black, and the white, and the reissue had come in the medium and the pink, but not in the mini size. And so I said, okay, thank you very much. And I sort of put that to the side. And I, I kind of said to myself, like, okay, you're, you're probably not going to get it. But I still asked on the purse forum about the color, if anybody had seen it in, if anybody had seen it in their boutique, like, what did it look like in person? Because I was really dying to know. And somebody on the purse forum nat she's fantastic she posts on the stock thread all the time about like different things in stock and is really really super helpful a lot of people on the purse forum can like thank nat for helping them source items that they've really wanted so she's super cool she had posted a picture of this bag in the the purse forum it was like super orangey on the picture and like really corally and kind of dark pink which i didn't particularly want and i was really disappointed and after I saw that I was like oh okay it's not even the pink I want I guess I'll you know forget it never mind I'll look for my pink elsewhere I suppose and move on and I knew that this was my shot at the mini reissue in a pink color because mini reissues and mini rectangulars mini squares trade off because they're both seasonal bags so it's mini reissue one season and mini rectangular mini square another season so the season after 22p wasn't going to have mini reissues and then who knows if the season after that was going to have them in the pink color right Anyway, and also who knows if there's going to be a price increase at that point because the U.S. did not have a price increase on the minis yet. So that's cool. That's good. That was a surprise. Getting off track again. Moving on. So I had decided to, to not pursue the, the pink reissue. And then I happened to be in Chanel very recently. I was posting about it on Instagram. And I, I had gone to the mall with a friend because she was looking to buy some earrings for her sister as a graduation congratulations you're now a doctor present which is super cool good for her happy graduation being coming a doctor that's a big accomplishment obviously and I decided to stop by Chanel and I, I went in by Chanel it was a, a little bit random so I was lucky my essay happened to be in and she happened to be free and I asked to see a couple of different pieces and I, I asked to see the mini reissues because sometimes even if they don't have anything current you know from new season they sometimes have older stock so I always like to see and my essay does you know, know what I like at this point so she knows kind of what to show me and she always lets me try on or try out a bunch of different bags because she just knows that I appreciate them so I really appreciate her and I she had opened the cabinet to, to show me something else that was inside of it I think it was I think it was a mini rectangular something like that I, I think it was a mini rectangular in the cabinet and I, I looked at it and I went what can I can I see that can I see that one and it was this bag the mini reissue in the 22p pink and I was 
surprised, I was stunned. I did not expect to see it and I didn't expect to see it and like it because when I saw it on the shelf, I didn't know that it was the same pink because it looked so much less like the picture had that had been shared. And so she let me, she let me see it and I stared at it and tried it on and took pictures and talked about it on Instagram and I just looked at it like this for a really long time and I, I picked up something else that I had been looking at with her and decided to say, you know what, I hadn't been planning on purchasing it. I don't want to just impulse buy it because like, oh my gosh, it's here. They had two in, they had two in, they had this one and another one and this was the, the one that I liked more. So my essay kind of set that aside and put the other one more front facing, which was super cool of her. And so I decided to sleep on it and I did sleep on it. I went home and I slept on it and I frantically DM'd a bunch of people on Instagram and rambled a lot about the color and I posted more pictures. I kept thinking about it and putting off contacting my essay, which wasn't that, I mean, I said thank you to her after the, the initial appointment after, but I didn't like contact her about the bag for a couple of days, which isn't, you know, the most, uh, polite thing to do, but I was just sort of like eh, a little bit about it and she understood, which was very kind of her. And I thought about it for like a good week. And after a good week, I just, you know, I couldn't get out of my head. And I kept thinking about a little bit mixture of FOMO and not FOMO. So fear of missing out FOMO, I didn't know when another pink like this was going to come along. I didn't know when another pink like this was going to come along in the mini reissue. And obviously the mini reissues and all Chanel has price increases all the time. So the fact that this is currently the current price, it's only ever going to get more expensive. And mini reissues, all mini bags right now sell for a premium on the pre-loved market or the reseller market. It's not pre-loved, it's reseller. They sell for a premium. So I'm seeing like mini reissues selling for like $5,000 plus when in boutique they're 4,400, not 5,000, you know? So. I, I didn't want to have to pay a premium for the bag. You know, if it was the one that got away, I, I wouldn't do that. But also you want to buy something before the prices go up, obviously. And that coupled with the fact that I kept thinking about this bag and this color and it's so wet. <laughs> Almost dropped it, that's fine. The chain came out. It's so beautiful and it was pretty much the color I wanted. It was pretty much the color that I was looking for. And so I decided, you know what? It wasn't a planned purchase, but I had other things that were on my wish list that were planned, right? And I like this more than all of those things that were the same amount or equal amount of money. It didn't make sense to me to pass this by because it wasn't planned to get other things that I wanted less than this. And when I came to that conclusion and, you know, some friends of mine helped, helped me talk through that, when I came to that conclusion, I decided, okay, you know what? I don't even know if it's still in. I'll text my SA and just, just ask. And if it's gone, it, it's gone. I missed it. It's okay. And if it isn't, I'm going to go back in and look at it and obviously make a decision and then just put it to bed. Either I'm, I'm going to say, you know, it's not right now. It, it's fine. It's, it's okay. If I don't buy it, I'll find something else and pay more money probably, definitely. Or I will get it. Guess which one I did. I went in and my essay, I keep, my essay is very kind. She's, she's very kind. She puts up with a lot for me because I'm a nerd and I stared at this for a while, but also because it was boutique lighting, I'll, I'll put some pictures on the screen for, from what I, what I mean, but because it was boutique lighting, it looked so dark still, like it still looked much more like orangey coral than this, the pink that it is in person. And so I asked her if she wouldn't mind if I could go to the like entrance of the boutique to see it under like a different lighting because Chanel lighting is generally bad. It's dark, it's dim, it's not bad, it's mood atmospheric lighting. So it's really hard to see colors sometimes. So I take a lot of pictures, which does help, but sometimes, you know, you just need to see it under a different light. So not only did she let me take it to the front of the store to see it under like a different lighting setup, but she actually let me take it, like she accompanied, she took the bag and accompanied me to the front of the, the, the sacks, the mall that the boutique was located inside. And we were, she let me look at it like in daylight, which helped a lot because in daylight it became this more, not baby pink or pastel pink, but much more of a, a true pink 
with like a, a different undertone than the coral with the orangey undertone it looked like. It still does have a, a more of a warmer undertone. It's not a cool pink, but it, it looked so much more bright and, and pink pink as opposed to like orange pink. And that's kind of what sold me, the, the seeing it in daylight and, and seeing it right now. And I had so much anticipation unboxing it and seeing it now, I'm really glad that I, I got it. I'm, I'm really happy to see it and hold it and add it to my collection. I, I've mentioned this before, mostly on Instagram actually, but a little bit on YouTube, that I have my own thing with styling and, and finding out style. I had somebody very kindly say once that they were interested in learning more about my personal style and they thought that I, I could share some fun stuff and they thought that I'd be interesting. I'm like, thank you very much. I, I don't know if I have enough of an interesting style to share, but I am experimenting and you might have been seeing more different types of outfits from me in the last several weeks. And I want to have fun with fashion and I've always been sort of scared of doing that. And accessories aside, I, I have had problems with, you know, my wardrobe and, and learning how to dress myself in terms of like flattering and fun and, and colors and cuts. And so I've been trying to experiment more and play more with that. And so having some bright pops of color really makes me happy and the idea makes me happy. And I want to be able to wear stuff like this. I want to be able to experience the pleasure of having brightness and vibrancy and color in my wardrobe and playing a little bit more with fashion. I know that buying a very expensive handbag is a bit of a leap to, to doing so, but I really want to be able to wear this. I like this. I like the color. I like the style. I love the four grommets of the reissue, so you can adjust it to long shoulder, short shoulder, or crossbody. I love how versatile it is. And I want to be the type of person that wears this type of thing. And I feel like I'm finally at a place in my life where I can be the person who wears this type of thing. And so I'm going to do my best to try. And I, I'm really, I'm really happy to have gotten this. Yeah, that's my, my little story. Because it is 22P, it does have the plate inside. Now, just so you know, the, the metal plate inside the new Chanel bags, it's not a microchip. It's not, I don't know where the rumor got started. The Real Shaquine, Jasmine from The Real Shaquine just also mentioned this in her video that she had it confirmed by her essays too. The, the metal plate inside the Chanel bags, no microchip, no RFID technology, no technology. It's just a metal plate. Just a little bit, okay, rant over, but it's just a metal plate. So, but it does have the metal plate inside. This is, you know, still stuff, so it doesn't come with an authenticity card. But here, so you can see it, let me share the, the color style number here. So here we go, that's the style number. If that helps, it's again, it's 22P pink. AS0874, Y04634, and then NG756. So the mini 2.55 handbag in the gold. I'm gonna try this on now. I'm gonna just do a quick mod shot for you. I'm not gonna do what fits or anything like that because this has gone on long enough and I just wanna kind of enjoy the bag before I start stuffing stuff into it. I already know that my phone keys and, and wallet fits inside of it because I did do a try on in the boutique multiple times with many reissues. So I'm perfectly content with what it does and doesn't hold. And so now I'm gonna just flip the camera around and do some mod shots for you. So here it is on the shoulder with the double strap and I'm going to try to do my best to show you the color shift from like this more dark pink to the lighter pink, the brighter pink. But it really does catch the light differently and it's kind of a chameleon in that it Again, it looks different in different lighting, and I, I really kind of like that. So again, this is it on the, the double shoulder, and then this is it long shoulder. I think it is a pretty good drop length. It hits me really nicely. I'm 5'7 I'm for reference and about 145 pounds, just so you know. And yeah, so I think it's super cute. And then here it is cross body. And I like that cross-bodying it makes it look a little bit like cute casual a little bit more, you know? I, I, I'm just really happy. I'm really pleased with it. I, I'm really happy that I have this now. So yeah, that, that it is it. So there you have it. That is my brand new addition to my handbag collection, this beautiful mini reissue in the 22P pink. Thank you so much for sharing this unboxing with me. I hope that it was fun, even with the messy bits. I had a blast and 
I really enjoy this piece. Did I need a pink bag? No, of course not. I wanted one. And did I need the pink bag to be a Chanel? No, of course not. But I saw this. I fell in love. I thought about it for a week and decided to go for it. And I'm very happy I did. If you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm and subscribe for more content that helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.